sober, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 sober, yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, look, my fault. So I only got back on here to say a few things. And uh, I wanted to just talk about this before I get on in my day. I'm about to get up out of here. But I wanted to talk about this. I ain't going live for the rest of the day. So I'm going to be in the studio. It's real big people. We need to talk about What I want to talk about is judgment of people, especially amongst the black community. And I noticed one thing about the black community, especially the older generation, like the people who grew up in the 50s and 60s, they fucked. They're so judgmental that it's beyond ridiculous how judgmental they are. So I'm walking to the store, older black lady looks at me and she goes, oh my God, Jesus, you got a face tattoo. Remind you, she had on security clothes. You got a face tattoo? How are you supposed to get a job, baby? I looked at that bitch and said, bitch, I am the job. I learned, I learned that about older people, especially black older people. Black older people mentality is so slave-like. No, listen, black people, especially black older people, black older people mentality is so slave-like, they really believe that they can't make it in the world without massa. No, for real. She said, what are you going to do, darling? Dad, it's a screwdriver. Why? You need it for batteries. She said, what are you going to do, darling? I said, what do you mean? What do you mean, bitch? It's all type of possibility, bitch. I could be a photographer, bitch. I could be a model. I could be all type of shit, a mechanic, bitch. What do you mean? She said, oh. I said, there's all type of things you could do. In her mind, if you don't work for a slave corporation, you can't survive. That that's how her mind work. And I go, yo, it's it's crazy because there's a lot of people in this world that live by that logic. There's a lot of black people in this world that live by that logic that if you don't go fill out an application, you can't be nothing. It's crazy. It's crazy how many people actually live by that logic. That if you don't fill out an application and wait for somebody to come call you, you can't be nothing in life. That's crazy. Look, I'm going to tell y'all this one more time. You could literally do. You could literally do whatever the fuck you want to do in your life. You could do anything you want to do in your life. Anything. If you put your own life into your own hands, you could do whatever the fuck you want to do, bro. One of my biggest regrets and one of the regrets that I have for majority of the people in this world is that they going to work. They gon' the majority of the people in this world is gonna literally work sixty years with nothing to show for. It. This is the actual facts. Majority of the people in the world, and there's nothing you could do to tell them different. The majority of the people in the world are gonna work sixty, seven years with nothing to show for it, and they're gonna make somebody else hundreds of thousands of dollars while their boss on vacation to Cancun and all type of shit. They're going to believe that they can make it with a fucking 50 cent a year raise. They're going to believe, they believe that they can make it in the world with a 50 cent a year raise. Somebody just, look, look, look I'm going to tell you this. A man's invented a paper clip. Somebody just sold a hot Cheeto shaped gorilla for $260,000. Ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse.
The problem is nobody got faith in they self. This is the, the ultimate problem in the world is nobody got faith in they self. People are afraid to ride life without training wheels. People are afraid to ride life without training wheels. Nobody got faith in they self. Nobody can say, you know what, it's on me. You know how much of a real man you got to be to say, my life is in my hands. If I don't go get it, I ain't going to eat. See, me, I live by real live fucking wilderness man rules. If I don't go out there and hunt, I'm not going to eat. Nobody's going to bring me a bison. Ain't no nigga just going to bring me a piece of bison every two weeks. Ain't no nigga gonna bring me a piece of a piece of boar every two weeks. Ain't nobody gonna bring me nothing. I'm going out there to hunt, bro. And when I go hunt, but that's the thing, right? You gotta understand when you put life in your own hands, you're gonna take ups and downs. Cause you got life in your own hands You not on a fucking weekly schedule Making the same thing over and over and over and over and over Live it, it. You gonna take ups and downs When you put life into your own hands There be times where I go a whole year Without making a dollar There's numerous times Where I go a whole year Without making a single penny Do I stress? Nope Do I get mad? Nope but Nothing Cause you know what I'm doing? I'm setting a trap. I'm figuring out, okay, I see the antelope over there. I see I see the bison over there. Okay, I see the boom boom over there. Okay, I see the boom over there. Okay, boom. All right, I need to figure out a trap. So sometimes you gotta sit back and set a trap. And there's ways, I'm gonna tell you how the big niggas set traps. The big niggas go, okay, we gotta set double traps. So what we gonna do is, you go fire the gun over there, right? When you fire the gun over there, the antelope's gonna run over there, right? When the antelope's run over there, they gonna make a bunch of noise, and then the fucking bison gonna try to cross the river. Remind you, it's gonna be some crocodiles in the ocean. So, I mean, it's gonna be some crocodiles in the river. One of the bison's gonna get bit by the crocodile. So, bam, when the antelope's run, bam, the bison's gonna run. When the crocodile bite one of the bisons, you wait till the crocodile weaken the bison, Boom, now you kill the bison and the crocodile. While the bison and the crocodile are fighting, you kill the bison and the crocodile. Now you got food to eat and you got some snake skin boots. You feel me? Some crocodile boots. Bam. Bro, sometimes you got to chill back and hunt, my nigga. Look, put life in your own hands. It's easy, bro. You just got to understand that there's going to be ups and downs. It's what you got to understand. Y'all got to understand right now, I'm in a situation to where I'm figuring some shit out. I ain't battle rapping. You notice I ain't dropping no projects or I ain't battle rapping. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't making nothing right now. I'm chilling. I'm not making nothing. I can make a hell of money right now. All I got to do is open up donations and all type of shit. I'm not doing none of that right now. I'm chilling. I'm trying to figure some shit out. I'm trying to figure out the algorithms. I've been turning down fifty, sixty thousand dollar battles left and right because that ain't what I want right now. I'm turning down forty, fifty, thirty thousand dollar one rounders left and right. That ain't what I want. I don't want that right now. I'm trying to figure some shit out to get us all in the situation. I'm not. I'm talking about people I don't even know. Man, get out of here. I'm trying to figure out some shit to get us all in the situation. I don't really want y'all support right now. I don't want. I don't want y'all to support right now. I don't want no. I don't want none of that right now. I'm trying to figure out some shit that get us all in the situation. All of us, because I understand, like, like you know how they have Black Wall Street. I'm trying to figure out Conscious Wall Street. Like, what's something that could put us all in the situation? I'm gonna tell y'all, and I quote. 
like I quote one of J. Cole lyrics, like, what good is like sitting at the top if, if everybody you fuck with can't sit at the top? Hmm? Bro, look, all y'all could do to help me right now, look, look, I know a lot, because I get DMs and messages every day, like, yo, man, what they like, anything you need, Joe, I'm behind, I be having little rich niggas, yo, they like, if you need me to front you this, man, let me know, I be having sponsors, investors, no, I don't want none of that right now, look, all I need you to do is get online and learn the shit that you need to learn, we need editors, we need people who know how to do film. We need people who know how to do camera work. We need people who know how to fucking build. We need people who know how to do set design. We pe we need people who know how to map paint. We need people who know how to do comic books. We need people who know how to do or draw. We need artists. We need painters. Like, this is stuff that we got to learn. Like, learn all of this stuff. And then once our skills is up, let's unite to build an empire. Bro. I be at Disneyland and I be looking at Disneyland like, yo, this nigga made enough money to build a whole world. It's a world. My thing, look, a lot of niggas, rap niggas, they just want to get the bag. A lot of rap niggas just want to get the bag so they can get a nice house. And you feel me? They get a couple of chains. They get a, I, mean, I don't care about none of that. I'm trying to build a world for us, my nigga. Like a world we could live in. Like, imagine a Disneyland type of world, but just for us. Like a whole world. Like an organization. Like a world. Like Disneyland is a world. It's an actual world. I'm trying to build a world for us, bro. I'm trying to put it in some situations that a nigga can have a world. My nigga, like a suitable world for us inside this world. Like, for real, like a real live Tomorrowland. Like, for real, like a new civilization. I'm trying to build a world, my nigga. And I'm trying to build a world without these rules. So, look, this is all I'm saying, bro. Learn these traits. Learn these plans. Learn these skill sets. It ain't no time to be sitting around chilling. I get online and I watch a lot of people. I get online, I watch, and I be like, yo, niggas just be hanging out doing nothing. Look, man, it's too much stuff in the world that a nigga need to be learning. Struggling is a choice in today's time. Look, struggling is a choice. I understand what Kanye Way said when the shit is a choice. It's a choice, man. It's too much information in the world for a nigga to not know stuff. Bro, it's a choice. If you get online and learn this shit, bro, it's easy. I don't never focus on making money. Because I know with the snap of the fingers, I can use my abilities to do it. Right now, I'm in sensei mode. I'm really focusing on my abilities so I can learn this shit. Like, I know a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit I don't know. Like, we got to create stocks in our own investments. We got to build the investment and create stocks in the investment in sales. It's so much stuff, bro. It's so much stuff, man. I, Y'all niggas wonder why I live in Orange County. I'm around all these white niggas, all these Chinese niggas. I see what they working. I see how they work. They got a network, bro. This is a network from the school systems, from the stores, from all the grocery markets. This is a network. It's a full, a, a calculated network. You got to think niggas build apartments, right? Boom. Once they build an apartment complex, they build a shopping center right once niggas build a car apartment complex, they build a shopping center right next to the apartment complex. Now you got to think they funneling money back like that. You paying rent and all that. Look, on top, let me tell you, they build an apartment complex. They build the jobs too. So they build a little construction area where the job's at. Then they build an apartment complex. Then they build a shopping center. So look, you go home and go to sleep. You go to work, right? They pay you the money for you to go to work, right? After they pay you the money for you to go to work, you go then you go work, bust your ass all day, then go back home and pay them back 
the money that you just work for because you got to live in the house that they supply you. So you technically working in a circle. Then they supply all the food for your punk ass. Then you go pay the food. Then before you know it, you just working for nothing and they just getting all the bag. Look, my nigga. You know how this shit work? You know how they're able to do this? It's called teamwork. I keep telling y'all that one of the reasons why all of y'all and majority of y'all, some are not, but one of the main reasons why majority of people in this world is struggling because they don't understand teamwork, bro. My nigga, it's very easy to buy a house, bro. All it takes is 10 niggas. If 10 niggas, bro, 10 niggas save up their money for two years, 10 niggas can buy a house ASAP. Bro, the problem. And this, man, I know homies that blow through tens of thousands every year on clothing. On clothing. I know homies that blow through thousands on clothing. I know homies that blow through thousands on buds. I know people who go through thousands on bud, just bud alone. I know niggas who buy, nigga, I know niggas who spend a hundred every day on bud. Look, the problem is teamwork, bro. Now, just because niggas are your day one friends, that don't mean they teammates. All right, so I don't ever get none of this shit confused. A team is completely different from friends. Friends are going to forever be friends. A team is a group of motherfuckers that understand exactly what you doing and y'all can maneuver together. Friends are going to be friends. That's my nigga. I fuck with you. Hey, I'll kill a nigga for you, but you don't understand this team shit. So don't ever get friends confused with team. Right? Don't ever forget it. The team is different. Team is way different from friends. Right? So the thing. Team. Right? Team. Like right now, if I wanted to, I could hit up 12 of y'all, my nigga, and within a couple of months, we could own a house. I can hit up 12 niggas from this live right now and within maybe two years or so, we can own a big ass property in Atlanta. You know, mansions and shit in my nigga, we put together, we put together $200,000, we go get a mansion in Atlanta, my nigga, and live like Scarface. 10, 15 niggas put together, nigga, nigga put together $300,000, we go get a mansion in, in Atlanta and live like Scarface. The problem is everybody trying to do it by themselves. You know why you struggling? Because you paying rent by yourself. You know who winning? Want me to tell you who winning? The Mexicans. Mexican niggas winning. You want me to tell you why Mexican winning? Mexican niggas winning? Because it be 10, 15 niggas in the house working all day. It be about 10 families in the house. Niggas working all day. That's why Mexican niggas is winning, bro. This is why Mexican niggas winning. This is why Mexican families winning. Because it's 10 niggas in one house and everybody busting their ass until they get enough money to buy another house. Then they buy another house and 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 they buy another house. And before you know it, they own a whole neighborhood. Then you talking about, damn, man, the Mexicans taking over the hood. No, they ain't taking over. They monopolizing, dumbass. Why you niggas steady sit on the block blowing big buzz? They monopolizing. Look, man. I'm telling y'all, niggas just got to look. Niggas want to invest in some. Y'all want to invest into something? You want to invest into something. Who want to invest? Who want to invest into something? That's investing into something. Who with it? Who really with it? We can invest into something. Who with it? What you got on it? What you got on the house? You want to put 20 in? You want to put 30 in? You want to put 100 in? What you got on it? Who in Oh, that was yesterday. Who in? Who down? Who wanna get, who wanna put some in on it? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, bro, my mama. You wanna put some in on it? Oh, my mama. If you really serious and you wanna put, look. All right, look. We got two hundred. We look. Listen to. Just think about this, my nigga. We got two hundred ninety some niggas watching right now, right? 
if we get 290 some niggas to put a thousand dollars into something or it's 300 it's 300 we get 300 niggas to put a thousand into something that's three hundred thousand dollars we go buy two mansions in atlanta right now houses in atlanta you think these rappers in atlanta be lit man these niggas be paying 50 to 60 thousand 70 thousand dollars for these mansions my nigga we go buy seven man we go buy if you really want to be cheap, we could buy some smaller houses of twenty-five, thirty-five thousand. To be honest, I mean, if you want to go to Detroit, we could buy some houses for three dollars. If you want to go to Detroit, if you want to live in Detroit, my nigga, we go buy houses for a thousand in Detroit. This is actual facts. If you want to live in Detroit, we go man. This house in Detroit for two hundred dollars. It's a band though. We could fix it up. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That'd be epic. We go buy a bunch of houses, nigga. We all get out there with our construction hats on, nigga, and build these shits up, nigga. Film it, documentary, show y'all how to build a world out of nothing. My nigga, we could do this, bro. It's, no, y'all laughing. I'm serious. My nigga, we could... If everybody in this chat right now donated $1,000, we could go buy a whole neighborhood in Detroit and build that shit, my nigga. I, I could get online right now and show you there's houses in Detroit going for $200, $300, $1,000. They ban Don't get me wrong. They banned those, but my nigga, we could go buy a whole block. We go buy a whole Detroit block right now with $300,000. Man, $300,000, we could buy about seven blocks, my nigga. This is actual facts. How many of y'all right now could say y'all own something? Want me to tell you why you don't own nothing? Because you're trying to beat the game by yourself. You don't own nothing because you're trying to beat the game by yourself. That's why we don't own shit. You're trying to win by yourself. You ain't going to win by yourself. These higher up niggas don't play the game by themselves. They all in the shit together. Everybody pitching in the buy stuff. How you think labels, how you think the rap game works? Man, labels be like, oh, we like that artist? Man, they go find about 30 different niggas to put it in on the artist. That's why when you go to multiple studios and everybody got a plaque and they shit from the same rapper, yeah, that's because everybody pitched in on that nigga because they knew it was an investment. I know how this shit work. Look, bro. Look. My nigga, we could put some shit together if y'all niggas really serious. I'm so serious right now. If y'all niggas want to put some shit together, we could put some shit together, bro. Like, for real, for real, for real, my nigga. We could really, really, really put some shit together. Like, I be at Disneyland. Y'all niggas like, yo, why Daylight got a Disneyland pass? Be, my nigga, I be there watching. I don't give a fuck about Disneyland. I'm just there watching. I'm looking at this shit. And I'm like, yo, these niggas, my nigga, they got a fake Hollywood. They built, my nigga, this shit a whole movie set. They got Toontown, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Star Wars. My nigga, they built the whole, they build worlds inside of worlds. Look, man, it don't take a lot. It don't take a lot, man. It don't take a lot. Look, it don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. It's just winning together, bro. If we all pitch in something, my nigga, we could buy some shit big. Now, peep, peep, this how resorts work. You know how niggas have resorts and you, you pay for the little resort? It's the same way. Bunch of niggas pitch in, buy a bunch of houses, then they start charging niggas to vacate in the motherfuckers. We could buy a mansion and use this shit like a resort. So let's just say... Nigga, 100 niggas pitch in, boom, it's 265 days in a year. Let's say, nigga, you, you got to put in your time so you can live in the mansion like, and use it as like a vacation house. Right? This is how niggas do it. Big Bear, this is how niggas do it. All that, bro, we can Airbnb the shit. We can buy, we can buy a bunch of houses, Airbnb the shit. My nigga, we going to flip the money ASAP. We can all pitch in right now, go buy a house, Airbnb that shit, my nigga. If you... If you put in a thousand dollars right now, my nigga, we go buy an Airbnb house, my nigga. You be making, you probably be making your money back damn there every other week. Airbnb, my nigga, we go buy a house, my nigga. You gonna be making your shit back, Airbnb, bro. ASAP. Airbnb the jug right now. 
We go buy a house in one of these popular cities close to the strip. Airbnb that shit, bro. ASAP. Airbnb that shit, my nigga. You putting a thousand dollars, my nigga. You probably gonna make at least about thirty, forty thousand dollars within the next couple of years. ASAP. And guess what? If you ever want to go book the shit out, you can rent it out for free because you own part of it. You got a percentage. Yo, bro, my nigga, if y'all niggas really serious, my nigga, we could get some shit within the next week. I'm serious. Man, I'm tired of this nigga. Get out of here, bro. Some niggas just in here for the wrong reason. If y'all niggas really serious, my nigga, we could go get some shit, bro. I'm serious. I'm so thousand percent serious, my nigga. We could go get some shit. We could open restaurants. We could, my nigga, we even got to buy a house. We could buy a catering truck. We could buy a catering truck. We could buy a food truck. We could start a food chain right now, my nigga. Little catering truck ain't nothing but about 10,000. Nigga, we start KDM trucks. My nigga, we have one in every city. Our logos. I got homies that do all the logos, all the branding. We get a website up. We do home deliveries. Oh, man, it's all type of shit. Any of y'all know how to cook? Man, we can sit in the kitchen and come up with some recipes that nobody got. We can start something ASAP, bro. Imagine an ice cream truck. You know how niggas got ice cream trucks? Imagine an ice cream truck, but like a food truck ice cream truck. With a with our... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hey, dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 food truck coming, man. Hey, that's the burrito, man. Hey, lit, man. Hey, I'm gonna let that nigga the three dollar burrito. Man, we could have a food truck riding around the hood. Ain't no food truck. We let the other people just have all the ice cream trucks. We need a food truck riding around the hood, man. It's all type of things we can invest into, bro. You know another thing I want to do. Look, I'm going to tell you another thing I want to do. I swear to God, this is something that I really want to do. Hear me out. I want to do something called the getaway. The getaway is I want us to all go in on an RV. Like, I'm talking about one of, nigga, one of them exclusive ones. Ones be like 300,000. You know, seat, seat about, nigga, like 15 niggas. You feel me? Sleep about 15, 16 niggas with the luxury. I want us all to go in on an RV. Boom, and I want us to drive this RV around the world and pick up people. Like, kind of like a party bus. You know how niggas do party buses? But like a party bus around the United States. So whoever pitched in, we drive. We are, you pitched in? Okay, we coming to get you. Wham. If we come get you, then we on the road chilling. Oh, you pitched in? All right, we'll push to him. Oh, God, we coming to get him. Bam. Oh, you pitched in? All right, we coming to get you. Then we pick up everybody. Bam. Before you do it, all right, where we going to go? Shit, nigga, we just find something to do. Nigga, let's go to the Grand Canyon. Ooh. Er, pull out. Take our little picture. Do our grand. Boom. Where y'all want to go now? You want to go to Mexico? All right, come on. We out of here. Ooh, we push to Mexico. Wham. It's like a tour, but it's just for us. We ain't doing no shows. We just driving. Boom, you, you can bring your kids and all that. Bring the kids, bring the family. We out of here. We just drive around for a whole year. Then boom, once we drive around for the whole year, we film the shit, we document the shit, then we sell the documentary, right? The documentary, the documentary goes, 15 kids put in a certain amount of money and bought an RV, then traveled around the world and seen multiple locations, the funnest thing that ever happened. We sell a documentary, we sell our story, we sell, boom. Now we selling it, right? We make money from that. After we sell that, we buy another RV. Now we got two of them, right? We do this shit all over again. Then before you know it, we gonna be 15, 16 RVs deep, traveling around the world. Boom, now it become a trend. It become a whole thing. All right, boom, who want to get bored? Then before you know it, it's going to be is build a fan base. Then you're going to see multiple cars, maximum cars following. And once the shit's up, um, then before you know it, we selling t-shirts, we selling food, we selling all type of shit. We selling all type of little stickers, posters, pins, all type of shit. Certain dot com, yeah, yeah, travel with us dot com. Then travel with us dot com become a hard, dope ass site. Then before you know it, we sell an advertisement on the site. It's, bro, listen to me, my nigga. Let's get the bag, bro. Let's get the bag. What we waiting on, man? What we waiting on, bro? What we waiting on, man? What we waiting on? If y'all niggas really serious about this shit, bro, look. Hit the email, my nigga. 
Here, I'm going to do it for y'all. If you really serious about this, my nigga, I, hit the email, bro. Hit the email. Look, don't tell me what you want to invest. Tell me what you what's your go, what you want out of this. Right? I don't want to hear no numbers because I don't want to talk numbers yet. I don't want no numbers. Just tell me what you hear for, what you want to see, what what could we accomplish in the long run? Like, what could we do? What what could you bring to the table? What type of skill set do you cook? Do you draw? Do you paint? What do you do so we could bring to the table? Now, after we start talking that, we could be like, all right, what, what are we going? What's our goal? Where are we going? What's our goal? What are we going? Do you want to, do y'all want to go in on some property? Do y'all want to go in on, a, on some food? I mean, food truck, catering truck? Do y'all want to go in on a photography business? What do y'all want to go in on it, right? Not like what type of bit are we gonna go in on the Airbnb? Are we gonna go in on some apartment complexes? Are we gonna what we gonna go in on? That's what and what can you offer? Cause it's better when you got people with talent that could go into stuff. I don't want no nigga that really don't just do nothing, just like here go my money, hope I make some money back. Nah, I don't want that. No. No, 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 no. Ain't no I don't want it ain't that. I don't want niggas just pitch it, think they just going to sit at home. No, we got to be out here really like on some promotion. You feel me? So look, hit the email, man, and let's see what we could put together. Let's get something, man. I'm tired of all these white niggas out here, man, doing all type of shit. Man, niggas out here, man, all these billionaire niggas. Bro, I like the RV idea, bro. I like the RV idea, bro. Let's put our money in one pot, all of us, my nigga. You got this mile, he got that mile, he got that mile, whatever you got. Man, let's put our money in one pot and go buy something. We could go, if we really serious, my nigga, because I got a cool little chunk. I'm just waiting on it to come through. But I got a cool little chunk. Boom. If I put my chunk with somebody else's chunk with somebody else's chunk, man, we could have a nice couple of bags. We go buy an apartment complex. We go buy apartment complex. If y'all really see it, we go buy a car apartment complex. 25 unit apartment complex. We can live in that bitch. Look, I like the RV idea though. The RV idea tough because nigga, you put your thing in, boom, we coming to get you. The RV idea tough. Yo, man, I ain't. I don't have a number, my nigga. If you want to put a dollar in, you get $2 back next year. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever. If you invest 50 cents, my nigga, it is what it is. Look, I like the RV idea, though. That's fire. Because we could really be in the RV chilling, having a good time, traveling the world, seeing things. You could quit your job and all that. We out of here. Tell your manager we out of here. Okay? We get the RV, man. Tell your manager you out of here. We on the road. Don't worry about what you gonna eat, cause we gonna be stopping through all type of countries and all that, man. You see a deer or something? Let's go get him. Don't worry about what you gonna eat. We gonna survive. My mama. We stopping through motherfucking Tallahassee somewhere. They can see a deer climb. Man, hey, pull over, man. Let's say it. Let's go get that deer. Nah, no, for real. This is part of the experience, my nigga. This going to make dope footage. Keeping it real with you. It's going to make dope footage. Look, and I'm going to tell y'all, one of the best things about life, traveling will open your mind up to so much more stuff in life. I became a whole different person in my world once I started traveling. Traveling is important because it makes you realize that once you get out the cage, once you get out your neighborhood cage, see I see I turn that word into like a fire word. You can't think of words like that when you're in a neighborhood. You feel me? Once I got out my neighborhood thinking, my mind started to open up. I started to see different things there. I started to see how the how the world is designed. Travel is important, bro. It's important to the way you perceive the world is important. 
I like that RV idea, man. We might have to run with that. So look, what I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start looking at some fire ass RVs and which one that could fit the most people. Let's pitch in and get one. Let's pitch in and get one. I'm gonna start looking at some fire ass RV. If you know some, you look, this look, it's so deep. I know one of y'all niggas do credit checks. I know one of y'all niggas work, got a father or something that work at a car dealership. I know one of y'all niggas got, look, connections is a key. We probably, man, we probably could get one for free. One of y'all niggas know somebody that knows something. That's why I mean, blows. one of y'all niggas know somebody that knows something get us niggas 0% APR or something. You feel me? One of y'all niggas probably ain't got no money but got good credit. Come on, my nigga, we got to utilize our resources, G. We got to use, one of y'all niggas got good credit, G. We can get one for zero down. One of y'all. Come on, my nigga. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, my nigga. We, this is why, that's why I said when you email me, my nigga, let me know some things so we can figure out how we can make this shit easier for us. Because we might be able to get one for zero down. And then we can just put our money in the pot and go buy a house. Then we got the RV already. Then when they come try to repo this shit, they ain't going to never repo it. Because we on the road. You feel me? We even got to pay the bill. I know the jug. I'm just keeping it real. You feel me? We probably going to get one for zero down. And just use all the money to buy the house. Then they ain't gonna never find it. You feel me? Hey, I'm for the hood. Don't ever forget. I'm for the hood. Don't ever forget. I know the jug. The nigga, we, uh, we be dipping the RV. You feel me? The nigga repo man steady trying to catch it. They like, hey, we seen them in Texas. We're trying to send some people to Texas. Bitch, now we way in New Orleans. Bitch, we dipping them. Yeah, shit. I'm just saying. If y'all know somebody got some super good credit, we might could get one for zero down. I'm keeping it real. But look, I ain't even going to tell y'all that, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all. We got to do it the right way because I did a lot of dumb hood shit in my life and I regret it. We got to do it the right way. On God, when we go get the RV, look, I'm going to make sure everybody name. You know how you could put multiple owners and I'm going to make sure everybody name on it. And then we going to all pay for it. Right, Pete? We going to all pay monthly. Boom. We all pay. We all pitch in. We all pay monthly, right? And we all pay monthly. We all build our credit. You're going to build your credit. That's one thing that's important. The credit is important in this world. You build your credit. We all pay monthly. Boom. We all put in 10, 15 till we got enough. Boom. We build our credit. Then once you start building your credit, they're going to start sending you credit cards. On God, we, we apply for all the credit cards. Get all the credit cards. Bam, bam, bam. Don't never cash out the credit cards. Just keep using them and keep paying them off till your shit start going up. Then before you know it, we keep doing it the same way. Bam, bam, bam. Before you know it, niggas going to have American Expresses. You keep running that American Express for about a year or two. Bam, bam, bam. Before you know it, niggas going to have black cards. Look, then we can really go get more RVs for zero down. Bro, look, it's an epic loot de loot. We just gotta do the shit together. We got to do the shit together, bro. Do the shit together. Hit the email, y'all, ASAP. Let's figure out how we could do this shit and put this shit into perspective ASAP. Hit the email, man. I'm about to get up out of here. I love y'all. My nigga, let's really do some shit that could change our lives. Not only our lives, our kids' lives. It could change our great-grandkids' lives. It could change some shit generational. Let's put some shit into motion, bro. I'm really with this. So hit the email ASAP. Let's see what we could do, bro.